Dr. Norman Bethune is probably best known for his medical service during the Spanish Civil War, as well as his work with the Chinese Communists. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton, and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're speaking with Hélène Sampson of the McCord Museum about Bethune's career and contributions. So why don't we start by having you tell us, who was Norman Bethune? He was a physician and doctor and he, was, he specialized in thoracic medicine. We can say he's a Canadian hero, in a sense, for what he has done for medicine in Canada, also for his commitment with the war victim in China and in Spain. One of the main contributions of the tune in Spain was to create the Canadian blood transfusion unit. And uh, you can see him close to the car that was actually an ambulance with all his team. Can you tell us more about his role in the Spanish Civil War? The Spanish War began in uh, 1936. It was a period where he was very involved in activism. He joined the international brigades to help the Republican Party to resist the attack of Franco. When in the south of Spain, Franco invaded the village of Malaga, all the population all the people were forced to escape. Bethune was aware of that, so he went and he used his ambulance as a taxi. He also became a member of the Communist Party. What implications did that have for him in his career? On the Canadian side, it was a kind of secret, you know. But he uh, went to the, at Leningrad in 1933 to a Congress of Communist Party. It uh, changed his career, it changed his way to practice medicine. When he came back, he was much more concerned about social medicine. Bethune was revered in China and virtually ignored in Canada during his lifetime. Why was this so? He saved the, the life of hundreds and hundreds of Chinese soldiers. It was the time when the north of China was attacked by Japan. He offered him his service to Mao Zedong. So he became, I would say, the physician-in-chief of the Red Army. And he also taught modern medicine to Chinese. There is a short series of photographs of uh, Bethune in China. You can see him at his desk when he was writing during the evening. There's other photo that shows him operating. There's a, a detail that was quite important that he was working, operating without gloves. One day he cut his finger and this finger uh, got infected and this is the way he died. It reminds the fact that Bethune actually gave his life for the people of China.